Hello, my name is Gary Talbot and I've been a teacher for over 10 years. I'm here today at Elementary Technology in Leeds at the Customer Experience Centre. I'm just going to talk to you today about five ways you can use a visualizer effectively in your classroom to improve pupils' engagement and overall their outcomes. So for example, the first technique is modeling. So one of the things I could do under the visualizer is letter formation. So as you can see, I can draw the letters, but what I can do is I can record that as well. So if I go over to the screen here, I can go to the film button and I can press record. Then I can go back and I can record my handwriting. That's really useful because I can keep playing that over and over and I can go and help any pupils that are struggling. So we'll just stop that and you should see it'll automatically play that uh, backwards and that's going to help me to help other other pupils too. You could also with that do some annotation of diagrams so modeling how to uh, annotate diagrams effectively is a technique which some people struggle with and then writing what the leaf actually does what the flower section does and I would teach them how to do that. I could also show them how to answer exam questions, so model exam questions. The second way you can use a visualizer is to live mark pieces of work and that's a really effective way of getting pupils to do quality feedback and also an engaging way to feedback to pupils and it saves teachers a lot of time because you don't have to go remark the same mistakes over and over. So for example, if I was live marking this piece of work, then I could live mark on here and then pupils could go and improve the work. Another technique is to see really small objects. So I've got here uh, some pictures of beetles or some artifacts of beetles, scorpion, and I can zoom in and look at those things a bit closer and I can do questions about them. It's also really useful if you want to demonstrate a technique that's quite uh, intricate. So for example, if I was doing a, an experiment in science uh, and I was demonstrating how to do it on a small scale level, then it's really good to, uh, to show it on the screen so that all pupils uh, can see what's going on. Another way of using the visualizer is to make time-lapse videos. And you can do that using the video recording feature on the visualizer. For example, it's a great way for pupils to see stages within a process. So let's say you're investigating the effects of acid rain on crest seeds. Sometimes it's, it's good for pupils to see that the plant's growing over time as opposed to what happens at the start of the experiment and then a couple of days later, what's the result of it. For more tips and tricks, please go over to my blog on the Elementary Technology website. If you're interested in purchasing visualizers for your school or for classrooms, then please get in touch with Elementary Technology and they will come in and give you lots of good advice and find the best product for you. Thank you.